In this video, I'll be doing six different hairstyles on my short bob. The first style is just a simple and soft beachy wave using my Hot Tools tapered wand. I start by sectioning off the top half of my hair. I work in two inch sections all the way around my head and I alternate the direction of the curls. My iron temperature is all the way up so I don't have to hold the hair on the iron for very long. I hold each section straight out from my head and I place the iron near the root on either the front side or the back side depending on what direction I want the curl to go. Also, I try to keep the hair flat on the iron barrel and not let it twist so that the curl will be soft and consistent all the way down. I keep the ends off the hot part of the iron too so that they won't be curled and this will also help protect them from heat damage. After I'm finished curling all of my hair, I spray the Biolage Texturizing Styling Spray lightly all over my hair and then I break up the curls with my fingers until I'm happy with the texture and the fullness. For style number two, I'm using a thin square scarf as a headband. I twist it up so that it's one long piece and then I lay it over my shoulders. Next I section off my bangs and some side hair that I want to be in front of the headband and then I pull the two ends of the scarf up on top of my head and then tie them together in a knot. For a little extra volume in my crown, I spray the Biolage Finishing Spritz at the root of each section and then I back comb a few times and I repeat until I'm happy with the amount of volume. Last I do any necessary hair moving and fluffing until I'm satisfied with the look. For the next style, I'm going to do a half up ponytail using a scarf scrunchie. First I decide how much hair I want to wear up and then I section it off and I tie the hair scrunchie around the ponytail with the scarf pieces on top. Then I hold the pony in place with one hand while I pull at the hair and loosen it with the other to create volume in the front and then I pull out some face framing pieces. Next I tease the pony a little bit to make it nice and full. For style number four, I'm doing a half bun with a regular scrunchie. Again, I decide how much hair I want to have up and then I section it off. For the bun, I put the scrunchie over the hair, but I don't pull the ends all the way through. Instead, I hold the hair tight with one hand and pull at the folded over hair with the other hand to make it nice and big and voluminous. Then I twist the scrunchie one time and bring it back over the hair. And then I hold it with one hand while I pull at my front hair for fullness and volume. Last, I pull out some face firming pieces and then tug at the bun some more until I'm happy with the fullness. The next style, I'm going to do a fold over braided bang. First, I section off the mohawk area of my hair and I clip the sides back so that they won't get in the way while I'm braiding. For this braid, I start at the front hairline and I just pick up small sections from each side and I alternate folding one piece over the other, taking up more hair each time. Then I use a bobby pin to secure the braid in place. Last, I remove the clips and I pull out some face framing pieces for softness. Mm -hmm. 
And for the last style, I'm pulling all of my hair into a messy bun and then I'm adding an accessory. So this technique is just like the half bun, only I'm incorporating all of my hair instead. And instead of a scrunchie, I'm using a regular hair tie. with the bun, I hold it in place with one hand while I pull at pieces of the hair with the other hand. And then I pull out some face framing pieces. Last, I'm using my scarf scrunchie again and I'm placing it around the bun with the scarf pieces on the top. I hope you enjoyed these simple everyday hairstyles for short to medium length hair and please make sure to like this video and subscribe to my channel. Also if you have any questions or suggestions for looks that you'd like to see, let me know in the comments.